This is our beginning of our floating dock system where it'll be the marina. So all our slips will be to either parking with or against the current. You'll have a six foot floating dock and then a three foot finger in between each, each slip. So you won't have to worry about banging into the neighbor's boat or anything like that. So it'll make it a lot easier. You know, what's amazing is it's so shallow here and it's 20 feet of water where the boats are gonna be, even at this dead, dead, dead low tide, so to speak. And tide's a good foot, foot and a half lower than normal low tide. But it doesn't really affect the marina because you still got 20 to 30 feet of water out here. So as I continue to work on the river and do this project, I'm learning more and more about the river. One thing that the floating docks are gonna do, particularly as we get up along the bluff, is they help buffer the effect of the current and they cut down on the wave action that goes into the bluff. So once we get this finished, it'll be like a baffle system in here that'll really settle the waters down. And in May, we'll be planting some aquatic vegetation on the sandy beaches up through here. And that's part of our living shoreline we'll be doing. So it's really amazing this 10 foot floating dock really does baffle it down quite a bit. And um, is really starting to already help the stabilization uh, of the riverbank. Okay. So when you look over my shoulder and you see the fixed dock way over there, it really does look like a half a mile river walk, I would think. So when you start here and walk down the the backbone of our marina, which is a 10 foot floating dock, very stable. And you get all the way down to where the boat ramp's going, that's gonna be about a half a mile, about 2,500 linear feet of, of dock that we'll be, we're getting closer to finishing. I'm like a kid before Christmas, I can't wait for it to get here so we can open our presents. <laughs>